Hey everyone, Eric's here bringing you another video. This one I'm going to be doing a feud prep with a little bit of breakdown combined. So uh, if you look on the left of my screen, you can see the, the requirements to max the solo event. Um, it's a little bit complicated with multiple events going, so let's just take a look at the solo event. Um, here's the solo event, and you can see there's milestones up to 8.9 million. Um, in this one, you can see you'd miss the the marks here and the aftershock plate as well as uh, some a decent chunk of coin and TP, etc. Um, if you're after dragon shards, you only need to go to 7.2 million. It does also have the last of the Becky premium chests, which are your best odds for uh, Becky at 4 star gold and 500 shards. So uh, I, I really want to at least get to that milestone. But I also really want to max the um, event as well um, for the coin and the little tokens here. I'm a big fan of the prize wall. We'll look at that later. Um, if you can't get to the, the 7.2, I would at the very least try to get to the 5.8. Um, if you can, uh, because you get a, one another Becky and 50 of the dragon shards. So that's kind of where I would target that. Now, when you look at the solo uh, points, you can see China, 10 matches for 650,000. Uh, Brie, 10 matches for 400,000 total. Becky, uh, 50 matches for 500,000 total. First loot coin is 105,000. Uh, Portal has 100,000 claims daily for 300,000 total. If you do all the tours, there's a million 57 in there. Uh, solo war score that we'll look at here that has 2.25 million that you can find by going into the competition tab and checking out the solo war score competition 13 milestones there if you get to 7 million that'll get you all of the solo points all of the 2.25 million beyond the 7 million um, you can see there's the 100 uh, token guys there for the prize wall and 16 million has another one of those premium uh, bag chests for Becky. And then there's a skill plate equal odds in the at the very end. So I think for the war score, I'm going to target 16 million. But if I can't get that, I would at least like to get all of the tokens at 13 million. Um, and if you don't want to do that much, 7 million gets you all of the solo points here. Uh, the community event, if we max that, there's 167,000 points in there. Now that gives you 5.4 million uh, points uh, without doing any feuding other than, of course, you're maxing the war score in there. Um, so after that, to max it, you are you can do as many brawls and battles as you can. Each brawl is worth 30,000. Each battle is worth 10,000. Uh, so you can see here, I have it figured out where if you're using three people in the brawl uh, and you're doing 60 matches or 60, sorry, 60 brawls uh, with 180 battles, three each one, and that's assuming you win all of them, uh, it'll take you 60 brawls. If it takes you 15 minutes of brawl, you're going to get four an hour and it's going to take you 15 hours of feud to max. If you average 12 minutes of brawl, you're going to get five an hour and it's going to take you 12 hours of feud. If you average 10 minutes of brawl, it's going to, you're going to get six an hour and take 10 hours of feud. Um, so again, the max is 9 million. That's what you're looking at to max. Now, not pictured here is if you manage to pull Becky, you get a million points for talenting her up one level. So that would knock a huge chunk of feuding off. And if you win one feud battle with her, you get another million. So if you manage to pull Becky, you're probably looking at more like 30 matches uh, to max the solo event. Now, originally I wasn't going to get perks, but because I have decided I am going to grind this, and my goal is to fall somewhere between the tw 10 and 12 minute mark, we'll talk about that more in a little bit. Um, I did get only offensive perks. I no interest in paying for defensive perks. That really doesn't uh, make my life any easier. It just makes my opponents harder. And I really don't care about that. I just want to get my points as quickly as I can. So I didn't get those. Um, the prize wall and why I think it's worth it to grind those tokens. I've heard a lot of people say they're not a big fan of the prize wall. And that's cool if you're not. 
Um, I, however, think it's a really good prize wall. In particular, I think the straps that are there um, with 50% jam damage is quite massive. So, um, did I go past that? Sorry, guys. It looks like I might have went... Here it is. So, these are awesome. Modern uh, powerhouse is going to be Mutant Bailey, um, the new Becky, uh, Zombie Charlotte, and uh, Naya. Although I can't see myself using Naya. Uh, this could actually be interesting on Zombie Charlotte at a high level. Her, the way she works with all the randomness, she generates a lot more random uh, as she gets higher. So that's kind of, she gets kind of interesting. But uh, obviously, uh, Bailey and Becky cream of the crop there and they both uh, blow up a good chunk of the board so that would be huge on either of them reality is really just Bree um, so if you're a Bree user then okay uh, but I think that's the worst of the three and then you have attitude and that can go on powerhouse China um, which would up her damage she blows up the board as well but uh, this is the one I'm targeting I want to get these 300 for this beyond that if I was close with Becky uh, I would go for these bags, you know, you're not going to probably get a ton, but if I was close, I'd go for that. Uh, if I'm not close, level up special looks really good. Um, and then, you know, random straps and is always fun. Never know what you're going to get. Uh, random strap bonuses in here. Um, so if nothing else, it's strap parts. But you can see I'm at 210. I only get need to get 90 more. So I feel confident I'm going to be able to get one of these straps. And I will choose this one, and then I will be going for the coin. Um, so that kind of covers why I want to do it, aside from the coin and stuff. Now let's take a look and uh, look at the feud lineup itself. Um, and do a little prep there. So it's going to be really important, this feud, to win quickly and efficiently. So you're going to want to, if you can, within your faction... Find a like-minded partner, similar roster size and speed, and brawl with them as much as you can. Uh, so this is what I'm going to run, because these all work for the bonus matches. So that's my goal. Uh, I am lucky enough to be able to fill the line. If you can't fill the line, uh, I would probably recommend run running with two, maybe three, uh, putting the other one up here. But you're going to want to be really, really fast if you can't fill the line. Um, the war score is is also going to be beneficial in the point that you get 100,000 for each unique win. So you're going to get 300,000 points if you win one time with three people. Uh, plus, you're going to get the, uh, you know, the brawl bonus and all of the 30% increase war score in here. Um, so that you should be able to add up a bunch of points fast. If you figure, you know, if you're, if you're taking three and winning, you're probably going to get at least 400,000 uh, per brawl, maybe 400,000, it's hard to, or uh, maybe 500,000, 500,000 is a little bit easier to figure, um, but if you did get 500,000 and you did 60 brawls, um, that's, uh, 30 million points, so I think 20 million is going to be doable, uh, within 60 brawls, uh, somewhere I would guess between 400,000 points, you know, 350 to 450 is probably a realistic guess if you're running three, um, now, as far as these line bonuses, there's going to be a lot of stuff to look out for. Um, Triple Black China um, is going to start charged up, ready to do a lot of damage. Um, you, Bianca with reds and blacks is going to start charged up and ready to go. Uh, they're both going to be difficult to deal with. Um, New Becky in the top will certainly be an issue for anyone that's taken up New Becky. I, I have a friend that's already taken his to five star bronze, and uh, he will do some serious damage with her. Um, Powerhouse China, this is obviously a great line bonus for her. It's going to help her a bunch. Um, the usual suspects, you know, like your Naomi's, uh, I would expect to see a decent amount of zombie page just because of the. Uh, the blast jams and the plus three red. Uh, but if you have a good, like, China, good uh, Charlotte, Motu Charlotte, and probably get get through her turn one, you know, Naomi, that sort of thing. But I would definitely watch out for her. If you have an anti-stun strap equipped on one of your female tricksters, your Lana or your Kyrie, uh, that would be someone good to take. 
Uh, but I, right now, this is what I think I'm going to run. I want to stay away from the really, really big guys. Uh, and China should be able to handle any big problems that come up with Becky as a backup. And they're all three required for the bonus points, uh, which will help in the solo event. So that's kind of my game plan. I would recommend starting low if you can't fill a line bonus. Start with two, go from there. Or even three, but not necessarily three big ones. Um, you'd probably want to be around 30,000 or less, would be my guess, uh, if you don't have a strong ladies roster. Because you will run into some people that'll take one five-star silver and two fodders. Uh, not much you can do about that, but you might potentially see that. Doesn't make a lot of sense because of the bonus matches and wanting to win individually, so I wouldn't do that. Um, I'm more inclined to go two in one fodder or two in a medium, uh, and the two being really close. Um, three seems like a good amount if, although, like I said, if you can't fill the line, then two is probably more efficient. Just make sure you can find someone, um, the same way. And for people that have Becky, this really makes a, a wide open spot here. Literally, you can put any female. So, uh, pick a female, they're going to get plus three MP and be difficult to deal with. So I think you're going to see a lot of different ones, but in particular, uh, Naomi, Bianca, uh, Lana, Bailey with plus three up there would be nasty. China, Becky, you're going to see a lot of those. Promoter Flair here. Uh, those are the one, the big ones to watch out for. Um, Sasha could do some work with these two, uh, starting with some extra MP as well with the black and stuff. Uh, or, the, or the regular one. Bailey would be good um, as well in the open slot. Um, She's she would be good with her moves. She's got red, so she could charge her reds up with the triple red. Uh, I don't obviously don't have that unlocked, but that could be particularly nasty with the red bonus as well. Um, Beth, uh, you might see some Beth running around. Uh, there's black and uh, plus three MP to black, so Beth has a black build. Might have to watch out for her. Um, I think that's like really the major stuff, guys. You want to be smart like normal, be fast, be efficient, find someone your level in your faction that you can queue up with, uh, switch lines if you can't beat someone, uh, if you're going slow, let your partner finish. Uh, the new thing with the how the, the information works in the game, you may have noticed when you hit your finisher, there's like a, the game gets darker, it essentially is a saving the game and it knows you won when you hit your finisher. So... If you, um, let's say you lose one, uh, so you're three matches and you, you have to queue again with that final one, your partner sees that while you're still in the match and can join in and usually win by the time you're ready to load in again. Uh, so it, it's not really line jumping when you're getting uh, all these bonuses per brawl and stuff. So... I would try and find someone in, that you communicate with well and have them finish your line if you're a little bit slower like that. It'll end up being faster in the long run and vice versa. That way you guys can queue match after match after match really, really fast. Uh, and that's what I would recommend for these. Um, like I said, this is what I'm going to run. Think about running two if you can't fill a line bonus because running into people with the line bonus is going to be a big advantage for them and a big disadvantage for you. Um, so I would try and stay to two. Two is the minimum. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to perk up, but I decided to because I'm going to try and grind out these 60 brawls, hopefully closer to 10 hours than 12. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. You know, if you can fill a line bonus, go for it. I mean, and it, it, beyond that, I didn't really talk about top-end people, people with a bunch of five-star silvers. If you can win fast, um, you know, go for it. Put in a big roster. Uh, but do keep in mind uh, the, the way the, the scoring is. You're getting rewarded for brawls and wins, not for feud points beyond 7 million, as far as the solo contest is concerned. Obviously, if you want to get to that 20 million mark war score, you want to factor that in. But I think being fast and efficient is going to be much better than putting in a huge lineup. Um, that's just my opinion. So anyway, guys, um, again, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully this is helpful. 
Uh, the breakdown's on the left there. Let me blow it up real big at the end here. That way you guys, if you want to screenshot it or whatever, you can go for it. And let me pull it on top here. There you go. So that's the scoring breakdown again. Uh, it should be a good weekend. Again, with the milestones, get as many as you feel comfortable with. Uh, I do think getting at least to the second to last milestone would be good, if possible, for you in the solo. Um, with the 100 Dragon Shards and the two Becky Premium Chests, I think that's a pretty good milestone. Last one, I get it if you don't want to push for the 50 tokens. There is really nice rewards in there, but that's going to be all brawls, right? Um, you're going to have to do a lot of brawls to get there. Uh, probably... Uh, 30, that's probably the last 30 or so brawls to get that point. Maybe not quite that much, uh, but not far off. That's the good chunk of your battles. Probably like 25 brawls, um, to get there. So, yep. I think that's it, guys. Have a good feud weekend. I'll be streaming a bunch of it on Twitch. I'm probably going to start as soon as feud starts, so for Pacific. And, uh, well, we'll have some fun streaming. Um, so join the stream and, you know, let's hang out this weekend. So, all right, guys, have a good feud and good luck out there.